software in 1997. And that was a software specifically made for routing and networking. And uh, since 1997, we have been uh, building the software and uh, ex expanding. And now Router OS has uh, nearly all the features that you expensive devices in the world have a lot of problems because of those laptops, um, especially because in 2002 we started uh, router port mining and those devices initially we were In 2002, we have made them smaller and faster, and now uh, some of them are as small as those devices that you have in your gift bags. You can uh, open the box and see that they are the cap light, very, very tiny devices. And uh, in 2006, we uh, had so many uh, users in our forum and online communities that we decided to make a uh, user meeting and uh, like a gathering of all the people who wanted to talk to each other about uh, our software and solutions and how to best implement your scenarios. And in 2006, we had more than 100 people uh, come together in uh, Europe, in Czech Republic, and it was a nice event. Everybody was happy and we started to make more and more of these user meetings where uh, anyone from any background, any knowledge level can come, starting from home users uh, up to salespeople from big companies. Everybody can come together as, uh, as equals and talk about, uh, about what they like to do and uh, their, their setups. And in Indonesia, we had 3,100 people join the Microtech user meeting. Of course, this is not the first event in Indonesia. It's uh, happening every year. And I hope that uh, also in Africa, our events will get bigger with time. And uh, in Cameroon, when we come next time, we have even more people. So in uh, 2017, we had 25 events in uh, different countries around the world. So this is where Microtik is located. This is uh, Europe and Latvia is a small country uh, near the Baltic Sea, near Scandinavia. And uh, it's very small, but we have the best routers. <laughs> and we have all kinds of products, not just routers. Some of our products are, of course, router OS is the software. You, can, uh, you have uh, it on your hardware when you purchase the devices. Uh, it's included free of charge. But of course, you can also install it on a PC computer or in uh, virtual machines, in the cloud. I'll talk about that later. We also have router board product family. That is our outdoor, indoor, and ethernet routers for uh, professionals. We also have CRS. Those are switches that run router OS, but are primarily meant to be used as switches. So no traffic shaping, just uh, uh, wire speed switching. And we also have CSS. Those are lower cost. And those run switch OS. That's a different operating system only has switching features, uh, lower cost, still uh, the same wire speed switching. So no, no matter where you are located, we will come to you. And as you see in this map, all these dots are events that Microtech has organized around the world. We have had more than 160 uh, user meetings around the world. Most of them have more than uh, a few hundred people attending. Um, here in Cameroon, uh, we expect around uh, 200, 300 people. Uh, some people are still arriving now, I see. Uh, and uh, some, some events like Indonesia have 3,000 people coming. So anywhere you would go, you would uh, find a Microtech event. Here in this event, we are three people from Microtech. Uh, 
Rivis is from sales. If you want to become a distributor, talk to him about uh, orders, products. Y you can find him at the registration table. He's also bringing out some of our latest products. You can see them and ask questions. Uh, also, there's me, Normans. I'm from support and you can talk to me about anything. And also we have Kasper. He's uh, from support and training. You can talk to him about training classes, becoming a consultant or uh, becoming a, uh, a trainer or any kind of education. We also have an academy program for schools and universities. You can talk to Kaspers about those things. Uh, you can find us in the red staff shirts. And today's schedule, of course, is wrong because we didn't start at 9, uh, but that's okay, we'll catch up. But uh, uh, approximate times are at around 12, we we'll have lunch if you have the yellow tickets. That means if you paid for the lunch, you can get lunch. And uh, then we continue our presentations and in the evening around 5, we will have uh, a lottery where you can win more routers and we will have some free drinks and beer and relax after a long day. If you need internet, sometimes it works and sometimes, uh, yeah, the network is MUM and the password is just microtic lowercase letters. I don't know if this works, but we have also a live stream, uh, youtube.com slash uh, This is a YouTube channel. We will be recording all these presentations in case the live stream is not working. Uh, they will be uploaded later. Uh, just you can uh, share them with your colleagues. If there is an interesting presentation today that you want them to see, you can just go to this channel. We also have all the other presentations from other events. This is like, uh, like a mini online school. If you watch many presentations on this channel, it's like free training for you. Also, special thanks to InfoGenie. Uh, they helped us to bring the gifts here and organize the hotel and everything. So. Uh, thanks to InfoGenie and Thierry. Uh, so now let me show you a few of our uh, devices. So the first uh, device is the cap light. This is the thing you have in your bags. It's a very small access point that works in 2 gigahertz. Uh, what's interesting is that you can easily take off the case and just put the other case that's in the box or even print or make a new case. Uh, we have the 3D designs available online and you can, uh, if you have like a nice boutique hotel and you don't want these ugly access points uh, like here somewhere, then you can just make your own design very nice and it easily snaps onto the cap light and you can have a clean, nice design hotel without any ugly white boxes on your walls. Uh, the device is powered by micro USB. This is a standard Android charger. Any, you probably have these cables in your house somewhere, anywhere on the street, you can buy them for 20 cents. It's just any kind of USB cable, USB charger, any kind, and it will start up. And of course, it also supports power over ethernet. There's a PoE injector in the box but you need a separate adapter for that. I recommend using the micro USB, it's much easier. This, design, this uh, device was designed for homes, hotels, any public areas where you need Wi-Fi access. They are very low cost at 29 USD. You can install them like many of them in every floor. Of course, like uh, in, it's a wireless basic uh, thing that uh, it's better to have many small access points than one powerful access point. This is much uh, better setup. So this is perfect for that. And here is a photo that shows that you can take off the case and just put another one. Yeah, sorry about that. And you can attach it to wall, ceiling or anywhere else. And the cable can go behind the case. Very nice setup. Uh, very interesting new product. Oh, what's that? 
<laughs> is Cap AC. That's a new product, and it was just announced yesterday to our distributors. So you are the first people to know about this new product. It is a dual band access point, and it has two gigabit ports. So you can have your internet coming here and another device an somewhere else. So you can have uh, uh, your cable going to uh, one end of the corridor and another cable going to further end uh, to expand your coverage. And it's of course an AC dual band with maximum speed for AC. Very nice, very low cost, only 69 USD. And of course, it's a very beautiful design. You can see how it attaches to the ceiling. It also includes two enclosures inside the box. Another one is a square design with rounded corners. Uh, also, you can attach it to wall. Very easy to install. Very nice for higher speed internet in uh, hotels where you also need 5 gigahertz and, uh, to solve uh, interference issues. Another exciting new product is the HAP AC Square. It's a dual band, also 5 gigabit ports for the full AC speed. It has a brand new processor, a Dakota chip that's very fast, also only 69 USD. What's great is that it also has, uh, yeah, it has USB on the top, and there are new buttons that you can configure to run scripts of your choice if you need. It's a nice design. It, you can use it uh, like a table mount, like flat, or attach it to walls. It has like, a, uh, this is a transparent render. It shows you that there's like a small uh, plate. You can attach it somewhere, and then you can just snap uh, this to mount somewhere. The, uh, this plate is also non-slip with a rubber feet, so you can put it on the table. And um, overall, a very powerful, small and low cost access point. Another nice device is the wireless wire. Uh, this uh, name means that you can take this kit, take it out of the box, and replace any Ethernet cable with a pair of these units that are inside the box. Uh, they need no configuration because they're pre-configured as a pair and they offer one gigabit full duplex without cable. So if you have a very busy street, uh, lots of cars, and there's not possible to bring a cable from one building to the other building, but you need a gigabit network. Just plug it into your switch, put it in your window on the other building, put it in the window, the other one, and you will be connected to that network automatically at one gigabit speed. Very nice, no need to dig any cable. Works nice for around 100 meters. I clicked something. And it's gone. Ah, there it is. And it costs 198 USD per the pair. There's two of them. This technology uses 60 gigahertz and the antennas support beam forming. That means you are not required to point them exactly. Uh, they will automatically adjust the antenna beam to, to connect to the other one. Uh, in, uh, of course, it will not go backwards, but if you point it approximately to the other unit, it will find the connection. And uh, also a similar unit is coming soon, the LHG60. This is the same technology, 60 gigahertz, one gigabit wireless, but it is bigger and works at more than 100 dis uh, meter distance. And another nice product is the SXT HQ. 
I'm not sure how many of you have used our products before, but at least one, that's good. And I have seen in this hotel, they even use our SXT product. This is this one. It's very popular. It's one of the most popular MicroTik devices around the world. It's very low cost. It's very nice, stable, works. We have introduced a new one that is two times smaller and better. It's faster and it's uh, even cheaper. So, we have many kinds. We have a SXT Square Lite. This is a 5 gigahertz AN dual chain, small, thinner, same kind of antenna for around 12, ki 12 kilometer link. You can use, if you have two of these units, if you connect one to the other, you can go up to 12 kilometers in perfect conditions. Only six, uh, 46 USD for such a device. We have even powerful, more powerful unit like this, uh, SXT H, uh, Square 5. Uh, this is similar, but has a more powerful transmitter, 49. And, oh sorry, and we have the AC model for $55. Also supports AC, same parameters. Strong transmitter up to 15 kilometers at only 55 USD. And the bigger brother is also a very low cost product, the LHG. Previously I was showing you the LHG 60, but these devices are more commonly uh, used. They work in the 2 and 5 gigahertz. And they of course are much lower cost. For example, the 2 gigahertz version, the LHG 2, uh, it has a large but very lightweight grid antenna that resists wind, rain, any weather, and it's very lightweight and it is only 58 USD. Very simple to mount, just use some kind of metal uh, ring to attach it to some kind of pole and with the 18 dBi antenna it can go uh, pretty long distances. For example, we also have 5 gigahertz HP. This means high power. This one can go up to 20 kilometers uh, if you have two of them at one end, one and the other end, the second one. So this has 28 dBm transmit, a big 24 dBi antenna, 69 USD, very, very low cost unit. Also, if you need higher speed than 100 megabits, because these units have a 100 megabit port, we have the AC, that one has a gigabit Ethernet port. So you can even go at more than 100 megabits, depending on your distance and wireless conditions. So this one is 89 USD, gigabit Ethernet port. For even longer distances, we have the XL models. Those are bigger dishes. They have a 21 dBi antenna and are also very lightweight and similar, but just bigger. For example, with the uh, 5 gigahertz model that is the XL high power, you can even go 40 kilometers in uh, good weather conditions at only 79 USD. Even better is the AC model, as it also has a gigabit port for the AC technology and can go more than 100 megabits at only 99. We have other products as well. We have a different kind of product. This is the WAP-R, like a radio because it supports a 3G, 4G card inside. You can uh, use this unit to get internet or there is no other internet except your mobile service. Maybe you can buy a SIM card for 3G, 4G, 
or any other uh, service kind uh, service, put it in here, and there's a slot for a 3G, 4G card inside. You can insert the modem, plug in the SIM card, and there is a Wi-Fi access point built in. So all you need to do is install the modem, put your SIM card, and start it. And it will prov offer you Wi-Fi service in a remote area in somewhere in the country where there is no cable, no other internet. Uh, also, it has automotive connector here. You can use it in buses and uh, cars. You can uh, power it from this one. And uh, it's a nice uh, unit to use for long distance uh, bus travel so the passengers can uh, surf the internet in your mobile bus hotspot. You can even attach external antennas for really remote areas. You can uh, put uh, your own huge uh, gain antenna somewhere and have cell service where there is no phone coverage normally. Your phone probably shows no service, but if you have attached a big external antenna for 3G technology, you can have a good internet connection even in those kinds of conditions. For this device, we also offer the modem itself. This is the LTE modem. Of course, you can use any kind of LTE modem if you have such uh, mini PCIe modems available from your mobile operator. But if you don't, you can obtain this unit from Microtik. We make them ourselves, designed specifically for router board products and router OS. They support uh, all the network technologies, many of the LTE bands. And there's two different ones. Of course, here you probably need the international version, but for the United States, we also have a separate one. And we offer the both of them together as WAP LTE kit. That is the same unit with the modem already inside. All you need is the SIM card and the power. That's all. Another LTE product is coming soon. It is the LTAP Mini, that means LTE access point. Uh, very nice, similar to the WAP, but smaller and uh, more rugged. You can just use screws to attach it somewhere, like to a bus, bus inside, uh, at, on a wall somewhere. And it's very similar. Also has a mini PCIe slot, but it has a GPS built in. And GPS you can use for all kinds of interesting scripting. For example, you can program your router OS to, uh, uh, to start uh, some kind of service only when you exit the city, for example, or uh, interesting things. And there's a serial port inside. Here's a picture. So a SIM card goes here, Ethernet port if you need it, power, serial. Uh, the bigger brother, LTAP, will have uh, two LTE modems. That's uh, nice if you plan to be crossing the borders of uh, different uh, service providers' uh, coverage. Uh, you can uh, have your one provider uh, near your city, but when you go outside the city, there is no service. And then you can use GPS and a script to change over to the other SIM card when you go outside some kind of uh, coverage area. And this one also has a gigabit Ethernet port and it also has all the other features, plus it has a more rugged, bigger case. This is how it, look, it looks like. Another nice product is the WUBM, that means uh, it's a serial console over wireless. Very nice device for any kind of technician who works with router board devices. Uh, what it does, you keep it somewhere in your toolbox and then you come across a Microtik router that has a USB port like a cloud core router and you cannot connect to it. Something is wrong. You plug this into the USB 
and it will start an access point. You can use your phone or tablet or laptop. You connect to this new access point and you have direct access to serial console of that board. Even if the software is not running at all, you can uh, recover the device through serial port. But you don't need serial cable or maybe an old laptop that has serial port or USB to serial adapter. Many things you need usually. But this one will give you serial or wireless. You can use a web interface to connect to the console or if you use Telnet, Telnet to connect to the address it will give you, it will go straight into the router serial port. Any router board that has USB supports this. It's only $16. Very nice tool for any kind of network technician. Mini UPS. It's like a PoE injector with a possibility to attach a battery. You can power it with a power jack with PoE in and it will give you PoE out with a fallback to the attached battery. You can attach any kind of battery here that you want. And in case the device loses power from jack or PoE in, it will just go give power from the battery. Nice device to put an unstable outdoor installation somewhere. The case is waterproof, only 29. But you need to find your own battery. And you can use any kind of battery, even a big battery. Another device, wall socket access point. Uh, this is something you can use in uh, hotel rooms. Uh, it's a dual band access point that mounts into electrical socket openings. Uh, you can have uh, your internet cable from the back and also most hotel rooms have some kind of phone. There is a pass-through ports for the phone. So from this opening here you can have two cables coming out. Here you can see the back side is here. Your internet goes here, your phone goes here, and from the front, your uh, cable can go to the person, to the hotel desk, uh, like uh, in your hotel room, you have like a table, and then the person can plug in his laptop if they need, and there uh, you can plug the phone. They can charge their phone here, a USB charging port on the side. This is how it mounts into the wall socket. This uh, image shows the American type of wall socket, but th it supports also any other kind of wall socket, any in the world. You can, uh, in Europe we have this round ones where your ethernet will come out and you just mount it on top of that opening. And it gives you a nice uh, clean design thing in your hotel room, no cables hanging around anywhere and even the person can charge their phone and uh, have their uh, regular telephone also connected. M11G. This is a, a device for builders. You can build your own solution. There is no enclosure, but there's a powerful 800 megahertz CPU. There's a mini PCIe slot here and a SIM card for that slot. For example, I was showing before the R11 LTE card. If you put that card here, put the SIM here, it will give you internet from the 3G network to your um, ethernet port. Or you can use a wireless card here and you'll have a standard access point. It is similar in the dimensions as our RB411 and the, all the other old ones, like 911 and 133, all of them share the same mounting holes. If you have a really old MicroTik router that is, uh, looks like this, you can just take it out from the, its old enclosure and put this one to upgrade the device, and it's only 39 USD. 
the big brother of that device is the M33G that has all kinds of connections. It has uh, two mini PCIe slots. It has three gigabit Ethernet ports. It has serial, power jack, USB, even has an M2 slot here that is used for storage. You can attach an SSD drive for proxy or for user manager or for uh, any kind of other uh, thing that uses a lot of storage. USB 3 is even supported for high speed disks here. You can attach an external drive. And it supports, it, for, it has a four core 800 megabit, uh, megahertz CPU. We also have, and this is exciting, very low cost unit, the LDF5. This one is the AC. We also have an older device without AC for even lower, lower price than this. What it does, you take this small, tiny, tiny box. It's not big, it's very small. And you put it in any kind of old satellite dish. Just take out the old satellite feed, plug in this one, and it will turn into a very high, ultra high power uh, uh, wireless device. Use it for m very long wireless links. If you have huge offset dish like 1.2 meters, you can use this for like a 100 kilometer link from one mountain to the other mountain. And what's great is that satellite dishes are available in any junkyard. You can find all the discarded satellite dish and just put this thing. All it needs to do is reflect against the dish and connect to your other device somewhere far, far away. This one specifically is the AC. It's more faster. It has a AC support and it's more powerful, but we also have a cheaper unit, the regular for 100 megabit uh, speeds, the LDF5. Very nice device for building your own high speed, high distance link. This is something interesting for people who work in uh, uh, high speed internet providers. It's an SFP plus interface for RG 10 gigabit copper. SFP plus, you plug it into any SFP plus units that we have. We have multiple devices that support uh, SFP plus, and here you have a 10 gigabit port. Works with any Microtik unit that has this port. Only 65 USD for a 10 gigabit link. That's an amazing speed for such a low price. And it supports also 5 gigabits, 2.5 gigabit, 1 gigabit, 100 megabit, and 10 megabit, all kinds of speeds, of course. This unit is interesting for people who want to use the uh, CCR1072, our most powerful unit. This is the most, the fastest, fastest device that we have. It has SFP plus ports, supports the 10G, and this is a power supply that allows you to put 48 volt telecom power to the unit. And it supports hot swap, just take uh, old one out, put the new one in, and your device never goes down because it has two power supplies. Just swap. A little bit lower cost than the CCR is the RB1100AH. X4 means four CPU cores. This is a uh, similar design to many of our previous products. It's a familiar design with new internals. It has a Annapurna Alpine, four ARM Cortex cores, 1.4 gigahertz each core, a very, very high speed unit, has all kinds of neat features, two power supplies, silent, no sounds, CPU cooling system, uh, M2 SSD drives, SATA drives, USB 3, SATA 3, M2. Included is a 60 gigabyte SSD drive for proxy, user manager, many things. 
IPsec connections are hardware accelerated for very high speed connections between important locations like banks. 48 volt DC telecom power supply built in right here. Two power supply units with failover. Plug it into different power sources. If one goes down, the other keeps going. 5.5 million packets per second capability. 7.5 gigabits of throughput. An IPsec up to 2.2 gigabits with AES encryption. Up to 2 gigahertz. If you overclock it, it goes even faster. Here you can see micro SD even. Telecom power, dual powers. Fan is optional. Normally it works fine without a fan, except if it's in very hot conditions. You can put a fan if you want. Two editions are available. The standard one, only $299. And the dude edition that includes M2, SATA 3, and the disk, SSD disk is $349. For such a powerful unit that can be the core of all your network, it's a very, very good price. Also nice is a fiber box, waterproof, five SFP ports. Included is one RJ45 Ethernet module right here, 79. And an ultra high performance SFP plus switch with 16 SFP plus ports. The CRS317. Hardware based spanning tree, dual boot, two operating systems, 399. A CRS112 has eight PoE output ports. So you can power your CPU units from these, and you don't need any injectors and power, power supply units. Just plug them in, and it, they will take the power. Automatically detects if the device needs PoE and what kind of PoE it needs. It supports Passive or active PoE. 179 available now. Distributors are already ordering them. 328, 24 PoE out ports. All of these can supply power to router board devices. Dual boot, 24 ports PoE out, AF, AT, and passive automatically detects PoE standard. Four 10 gigabit ports, SFP plus. One a connector for uh, 220, 240 volts. Just plug it in and it will work automatically, power anything. You don't need to worry about any adapters. Everything is built in. All our products include free software, free upgrades. Everything is included. They all run the same router OS. Even the cap light unit you have in your bag has the same features as the high-end devices. The only difference is the processing power and the number of ports. If you want to try uh, OSPF, you can do it on your cap light. If you want to try hotspot, you can try. There's no limitation. All the features are there. More information on our homepage, microtech.com. We also have some interesting router OS uh, features. We have the CHR that is a cloud-hosted router. It's a special installation image for cloud and for virtual machines. You can use it in uh, VMware, VirtualBox, any kind of KVM, Zen. You can use it in cloud, Amazon, Azure, Linode, and, and many others. There's a special image available uh, for easy installation. And there's no traditional router OS license. If previously you could install it from ISO image, and it would break if you tried to copy it or move the license, it was not possible. Now it's possible. It's very easy. And you just need to log in. What you can use it for in cloud, you could use it as a firewall. For example, register your DNS name to your cloud Microtech router 
First, the connection goes to your cloud router. Then it gets firewalled, and only the good connection is forwarded to your web server. You can use it as a VPN server. Maybe you want to start to provide a VPN services for people who want to watch uh, blocked uh, content somewhere. You can host it anywhere because it supports Amazon or other cloud providers. You can just start it on Amazon in under two minutes and you have your router or VPN server. You can use it as a global monitoring server for monitoring all your internet connections. You can simulate networks and learn using this and much more. The, f uh, the first uh, tier of license is free of charge. It, li it is limited for one megabit per interface. If, you, if it is enough for you, for your learning purposes, you can just download and use. There is no uh, time limit. It's very simple to license. All you need to do is do it in your uh, Mikrotik uh, li license menu. You just need to log in with your Mikrotik account and it will show up in the CHR menu of your Mikrotik account. Then you can pay for it if you want. If, sh if it is enough to use one megabit, you don't need to do that. This just shows the process. Uh, also new, we have TR069 built into RouterWise. This is an interesting protocol to configure your CPEs. If you are a telecom and you have thousands of customers and you want to provide the same configuration to all of them, you can use TR069 to, uh, with software like AVS, and Axeros, Genie, ACS, and many others. And we work with these companies personally and they all up update us with the latest uh, standards and what we need to make. So it works uh, very well right now. This is exciting, a new feature, TLS hostname matching based on uh, the certificate name of the uh, entity that requested it. For blocking Facebook and any kinds of things, all you need to do is one rule. No more pattern matching that eats your CPU. All you need is to create one rule that will just analyze the name of the SSL certificate and it's, if it will see Facebook, you can uh, do something with this traffic or any kind of service like YouTube or Google or any, anything. And, and now this is not CPU intensive anymore. You know, don't need to use layer seven or complicated things or DNS blocking. This is now uh, much easier to, to do. It's in uh, the newest router OS 642. User manager now has ARM and multi-core MIPS support in 6.42. You can use user manager in the 1100AX4 and any other multi-core device that we have. It was coming a long time, but now it's finally out. You can already test it. Also, we have published IPsec test results for all the products on our webpage. This is interesting if you plan to make a link between two banks and are interested to find the best device uh, for your requirements. You, if you go to our homepage, to the product that you need, like this is the uh, HEX. The model is, the name is uh, RB750GR3. It's a uh, marketing name or common name is HEX. And you can see IPsec throughput up to 477 megabits at these settings here. Also, we have made a new link calculator on our webpage. You can put two points somewhere, select the products that you uh, want to, to test, and then it will show you the uh, terrain and the expected, uh, expected link results. You can find it in our homepage also. So if you have any questions, you can ask your distributor. InfoGenie here, for example. Or you can hire a Mikrotik consultant that can come to your office and help you install things and configure things. We have lots of consultants. Even in Cameroon, we have consultants. You can read the manual at wiki.mikrotik.com. You can email us. If these are, didn't give you the expected results, you can also email Mikrotik directly. Or you can attend training class or join an academy class in a university. If your university does not have a Mikrotik Academy class, you can talk to my friend Kaspars 
and he can uh, help your university to have a Microtik Academy class. All these presentations that will follow after this one will be published on our MUM homepage, MUM, Microtik user, meeting .com, and the videos that we will record will be on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Microtik. If you paid for your tickets, you will have a free router OS license that you can use for CHR. That will be sent to your email in a week or some. So, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And again, I apologize for the delay. And we have, next presenter is, uh, I think it is Thierry from Infogenie, and he is coming right now. <laughs>